that is what's over $1,700 in the last 24 hours looks like on my eBay sales. Started packing orders as they came in yesterday and just finished packing all of these that came in overnight. Uh, sorry you guys haven't seen one of these videos in a while because um, with everything going on and all the social distancing and everything, yard sales completely went away. Not only that, all the Facebook groups that I source from, uh, everything went away and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to source at all. And I'm expecting possibly a little bit of um, heat in the comments in anticipation of different people's reactions of, of whether this is morally right or wrong. And uh, this is what I've been doing. So um, got the tip off. We have a little reseller group on our Discord and we talk about all the things that are doing well and, and uh, you know, trendy and stuff like that with eBay, right? Um, and a buddy was like, hey, um, everybody's sold out of weights all across the country right now because gyms have closed down. So everybody's trying to get dumbbells and weights and stuff at home, right? Uh, so everybody's reselling their old weights uh, for pretty good money, just weights that they've had sitting in a garage for years that they haven't used. And uh, so then we thought, hey, you know, we should check and see if we can find any new weights. I checked my local Walmart and came home with uh, probably $800 in um, dumbbells and plates, weight sets, stuff like that. And this stuff is just unbelievably marked up on eBay right now. Normally this stuff wouldn't be worth the price to ship it, but because they are in such high demand and such low um, uh, quantities uh, available, uh, availability, whatever word I'm trying to look for, um, you know, supply and demand, you know, the, it, it's, uh, it's a game of supply and demand right now. So I have gone around locally within a 30 mile ish radius and I have bought out all of the weights, um, from these stores, not all the weights, but the weights that, that make sense, uh, 10 pounders, 15 pounders, uh, five pound plates, stuff like that. Down here I have prepackaged in priority, um, flat, um, flat rate padded envelopes those are five pound plates sets of two these are 10 pound plates sets of two obviously this is a 40 pound dumbbell set um this is all i have left of these are tens uh of these hex um dumbbells i've filled this entire rack twice now uh, i just restocked it two days ago and this is all i have left these dumbbells sell ridiculously fast and shout out to the priority mail service who allow up to 70 pounds in these flat rate mediums uh for making this all possible i can ship these guys for uh just i think it's like 12 dollars and 70 cents uh to ship these so to give you guys an idea i think i'm selling these 10 pounders a set of two for about 68 dollars the cost to me from the store is just about 20 bucks for the dumbbells um and then you know uh 13 to ship it so we're in about 33 and then the six dollars um from the ebay 10 percent fees um so you're looking right at about 30 dollars did i do that math right 20 bucks no no no. 40 dollars is my cost so you know i'm not i'm not breaking the bank with these i'm getting like 20 dollars per set something like that and then the 15 pounders those were selling for about 100 bucks and honestly the price was about the same uh, so the profit on those was a lot better, like $40 per or something like that. The plates are ridiculously cheap. Like the fives, the five pound plates are like $3. Um, so, you know, it's like less than $10 to have a pair. And then the shipping, the priority flat um, padded's these are like $7, something like that. So my cost is like 10 bucks before eBay fees. And I think I'm selling the five pound sets for 50 bucks. Uh, just under 50 bucks, and I'm selling the 10 pound sets uh, for right around 100. Um, and those maybe cost what are those? Maybe those are maybe five dollars a piece, something like that. So you guys can, you know, the, the profit is obviously there now. I am in the position where I'm fortunate enough to have some bankroll that I can that I can invest into stuff like this. I've spent uh, probably uh, just over two thousand dollars 
on weight in the last week, uh, which is kind of ridiculous, obviously. And not only that, but I'm playing another game right now, and that game is, um, if you hear a TV off to the side, my kids are over there watching some Ninja Turtles while I'm working today, but I have invested in uh, switches because the normal consoles are not even in production right now. I'm not sure if the lights are. They just released this coral color uh, last week and I was actually able to get quite a bit of those, luckily. I've only sold two so far because I'm pricing them pretty high. <laughs> Excuse me. Anticipating the supply to only go further, further down and uh, uh, you know the demand to go up and up and up because Animal Crossing is a huge hit right now so I'm selling bundles of switch lights and Animal Crossing so just on uh, switches I've spent uh, I think four thousand um, dollars yeah about four grand on Nintendo switches um, but like I said I mean uh, Walmart's are starting to close down non-essential sales they'll let people in to buy groceries and stuff but they're not even letting people buy game consoles and video games as far as I understand and not only that with the hot new game Animal Crossing out everybody wants a switch right now because everybody's you know stuck at home and uh, the supply is just not there so it's a kind of a crazy time um, and I'm trying to play this game uh, I'm gonna start bringing my I'm gonna start bringing my prices down a little bit because I wanna start moving these a little bit faster. Uh, but I have sold two and I'm giving away one on Twitter. Um, but, so for those of you guys that are going like, oh my God, like what do you, you've spent like $6,000. Yes, I have, um, but, sorry. These are my sales. Uh, so you can see I started buying um, Thursday and I came home and listed everything I had and my sales immediately spiked. You can see before that it was a little, it was it was going a little rough. Go sit down, buddy. Watch your movie. Um, so sales were a little rough, you know. And then I started buying inventory, sourcing inventory the only way I knew how, and that was going to Walmart, buying switches and weights. And I immediately had a seventeen hundred dollar day, followed by a fifteen hundred dollar day, eight hundred bucks, twelve thirty, one thousand. Um, 527 and then yesterday another $1,700 day so it has just been insane I literally have uh, and, and then look at that for the last 31 days we're at 11,733 that's definitely my highest uh, month ever so I let's see if we can get a focus job there I have literally not for the most part I have not stopped since I started though, um, you know, I've been trying to, I don't have masks yet. I bought masks. Uh, I don't glove up when I go inside Walmart, but I do take in a bottle of hand sanitizer and I use it after I touch everything. Um, you know, so I'm hoping that that keeps me safe, but at the same time, you know, I got to try to put, got to try to put food on the table for those kiddos in there. You know, they eat a lot. So, um, but it's been pretty insane. Uh, the amount, the sheer amount, the quantity of weights. Like I said, I've filled both of these shelves, every shelf, twice. And uh, pretty much every time I fill it up and get it all listed, it flies off the shelves within 48 hours. Uh, and it's all heavy, man. I've been working out. Without working out, I've been working out. It's been absolutely nuts. You got to think. So whenever I go to Walmart and do this, the the cart itself physically won't handle that amount of weight so I have to load uh, the cart once and go pay for it and then take it out to the truck load it up into my truck and then go back into the store load my cart again check out again go load the truck up again bring it home unload it all list it all shelve it all actually pack it all first because I've been pre-packing it that way when it does sell all I gotta do is slap a label in it then I load it up in my truck again then I unload it at the post office uh, so the postal workers probably hate me too but man I'd like to say um, that doing you know ten thousand dollars in a week has been easy but it hasn't <laughs> it has been absolutely insane um, but you know yeah so anyways the, the whole moral thing uh, I know that there's probably gonna be a couple uh, keyboard warriors in the comments saying that it's not right um, you know to profit off the situation or whatever uh, but if anything, you know, most of these orders are going to California. 
um, and New York, you know, some of the hardest hit places right now. And if anything, I'm doing them a service. You know, they're on lockdown right now. They're not able to get out of the house and even go to the store and buy this stuff. And I'm, you know, sending it right to their doorstop. So I really feel like I'm, I'm kind of helping in a way too, you know. Um, and, and there's a difference between stuff like weights and Nintendo Switches. Those are obviously obviously luxury items. It's not like I'm that guy that was in Texas that was hoarding hand sanitizer and face masks or whatever it was. You know, stuff that actually might help save people's lives. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm a dirtbag for doing it. Uh, you know, just trying to make some money. Uh, I really don't know. You know, I don't know how long this trend's gonna keep up or how long I'll even be able to uh, keep sourcing this stuff. I would assume that I'm probably about done. I've tapped out all my all my stores and uh, I don't know if and when they will be able to restock. So it's obviously not something I'm gonna be able to keep doing for the rest of the summer. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep resourcing uh, like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to source the way that I expected to this year. There's not gonna be yard sales and stuff like that. So. You know, the future of this business for me is very uncertain. And, uh, you know, for now, I, I got a nice little cash flow coming in. But once this stuff is gone, you know, then what? So if you guys have any ideas of what kind of stuff I can source, I thought about putting a post up on Facebook and, you know, just explaining my situation to people because there's a lot of people that are hunkering down right now that maybe are out of work and, uh, you know, maybe they wanted to have a yard sale um, and they're not able to now. You know, so I think I might write something up on, on Facebook and be like, look, if you're short on cash, you guys need a bunch of junk gone, you know, I can come to your place and buy in bulk and buy in cash and just see, um, you know, maybe I can source that way. Just kind of having like private meetups with locals and buying their junk out of their garage. Uh, you know, and obviously I would mask up and glove up before I did that, but uh, I don't know man times are weird So anyways, that's what's going on guys. Sorry. You haven't seen one of these videos in a while uh, but my buddies in my Resell discord group. They were like you should probably share like what you're doing What's going on how crazy your sales have been and everything and I was like, yeah, yeah, I guess I guess you're right I just kind of got out of the habit habit I was just filming every day I was out here and then it kind of got to the point where I was like I would come out here and just sit and be like well what am I doing? You know, like, I don't know. It's been interesting. So anyways, oh, and one more thing, guys. I do want to show you. If you guys are interested, we are breaking a box. Thank you to everybody that's been a part of these so far, but we're breaking a box of uh, 2019 Panini Select. Uh, those are, the teams are available for purchase over on my website, I'm Jehovah.com. I will try to leave the link in the description and the top comment. Uh, there's only like eight teams left or something like that, I believe. Uh, so get in on that. We can get that opened up and sent out here pretty soon. And then we're going to start doing quarter case breaks and half case breaks of some, uh, I've got, I've got some good stuff coming. I've already got plates and patches, a full case of it. And then I've got, uh, absolute and something else coming. I can't remember, but anyways, that's what's going on guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.